Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to use Microsoft Office for free. Normally if you want to use those applications you need to buy their subscription or their application. We don't do any of that. If you didn't know we can use those applications like Word, Excel or PowerPoint on our browser if you have a Microsoft account. I will put the link in the description. When you click the link you will go to the Microsoft 365 site and in here if you want to use those applications first you need to sign in with your existing account or create a Microsoft account. I will sign in with my existing account. And in here, we can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, Teams, and OneNote. If you need Office programs like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, you don't need to buy their subscription or their application. You just come to their website and log in with your Microsoft account, and then you can use those applications. When I click the Word, as you can see, we can make new blank documents, general notes or some other templates. I will go with new blank documents. As you can see, we can use those programs just like when we purchased them. It's like the purchased versions. It could have some limitations like when you type something and you want to change its font. When we click the office fonts, as you can see, this font is premium. All you can use is non-premium fonts like Arial. When I need to office programs to be able to do my job, they will get the job done. That's why I didn't need to purchase their subscription or their application, but I need to say it again, it have some limitations. By the way, as you can see, when we use those programs through our browser, our files will save themselves to OneDrive. As you can see, save it to OneDrive. That's why you don't need to worry about whether I save this file and after you finish your job you can download and save the files to your computer. If you want to do that, go to File, click Save As, click Download a Copy and click Download a Copy again. I will save the file to my desktop. And I think that's it. I hope the video helped you. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to the video. Take care and I will see you in the next video.